here just to talk about a, a good friend, uh, Francisco, and uh, his family is here. I've known the Rodriguez for a long time. Um, I started boxing at a young age, and the old guy over there in the corner has been a good friend of mine, Alex. And um, we grew up together in, in, in the amateur ranks and boxing here in Chicago. Um, I've always gotten along with them, great, without a problem, except for the brother that's not here, Evaristo. Me and him always go at each other. I'm just playing, guys, don't get so serious. <laughs> <laughs> we get along great, I'm just I'm messing around. We get along great, but between me and Evaristo, with me and Alex, it's more, hey, how you doing, brother, this and that, you know, respect and stuff. With Evaristo, it's more like, hey, fat boy, what you doing? You know, it's more of a riding thing, and he's like, hey, Sissy, what are you doing and stuff like that. So, I naturally thought that Paco was going to be like that with the, uh, with the Marito, since they hung out together mostly. I, I figured, you know, that's how he's going to be with me. So, I started seeing him, hey, what's up skinny boy? What you been doing? You know, and just riding him and stuff like that. And all Paco would ever do would be like, hey, 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 hey. You know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't lash out at me. So after a while, I felt like a bully because I would always tell him something, uh, what's up, the chicken legs you got, or something like that just to ride on him. And he would never say anything back to me because, you know, it was respect that he was giving. And that's one thing about Paco. He gave everybody respect. And that uh, has to do with the mother and, and the father of Aristo Sr. You know, tell him what. So then after of me feeling a bully, I'm like, you know what, let's <laughs> look back out. Oh, this guy's probably different. So I just started talking to him normally, you know, like I do with Alex, you know, hey, how you doing and stuff like that. And we just ended up talking about fights and and training and everything that, that, that went on in the ring. Um, as a fighter, I, um, I think I actually know under the guidance of his dad, um, he was going to be a good champion. I, I honestly can 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 say that with, and argue with anybody about it. He had heart, heart that he would not give up in, in any fight. Um, we all know that he was like a boxer, right? All the fighters that are here that know him, they know that he's a boxer. But there was this 10% of Francisco that he just sometimes wanted to just get down and dirty, man. And just wanted to be a bullheaded about it. And just say, throw caution to the wind and, and get down and fight. And I knew the way he fought and, and the way he acted, he was going to become a big champion. It's unfortunate what happened to him. Um, I feel that us as, as fighters, <clears throat> we know the dangers that are out there in the sport. But well, we do it anyway. Why? Because we love the sport. We do it as a, I was eight years old myself. Alex and Evaristo, Francisco, the dad, former fighter himself. And we all know that there's a danger in it, but we try to like just say, all right, it won't happen to us because we train well. We, you know, we do what we got to do. Like I said before, it's very unfortunate that it happened to this guy because he was a great person. Anybody who's ever come across or their lives have crossed it with uh, Francisco, they know that he was a good kid. And it has to do with, with the man again and, and, and the woman. Um, my last encounter with Francisco was um, before my fight with uh, Jesus Chavez. <clears throat> I was a uh, I was just uh, finishing working out. I was I was leaving and he came in and he's like, "Hey, how's training going?" I'm like, "Good, you know, getting ready." He's like, "You gonna beat him, man?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. We got this." And um, we started uh, just he started telling me he was gonna have that fight, and I'm like, and that he was gonna fight for the title. And I was like, "I'm gonna bring it back." I'm like, "That man, you are. You just go out there and do what you gotta do." You go bring it back. Then something strange happened. 
we just started talking about family. It just, our conversation, now that I think about it, just switched. You know, the guy's married now. He's got, he, he just had his daughter. And we started talking about, he started talking, yeah, she keeps us up. And I'm like, yeah, man, I know that. I got three, man, and they're pinning the ass and all that. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I'm like, it, it's, it's going to be always, you know, it's going to be that. They're going to keep eating new things and stuff since I already had kids. I was just supposedly telling them that, you know, the way of fatherhood and stuff. But um, he, um, on my way out, he turned around and he goes, because I have three boys, he goes, hey, tell your boys to stay away from my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and I turned back and I looked at him and I just think about it now. When I think about it, it's like, this is Francisco protecting his family. And not that my kids are bad, but, <laughs> but they are a little something. And he and I told him, yeah, you know what? I'll uh, I'll tell him. We'll see about it. But cause he's got a beautiful daughter, and um, my my thing with that is that it's unfortunate what happened. We do this because we love it. People think of us, and they think that we're crazy people. And um, I was just having conversations with. Him senior and we love this sport it's it's a brutal sport it's a nasty sport but i guess we are a little bit crazy but it's, it's something that we love to do and um francisco loved fighting man he loved it and i just hope we can or at least i can i'm a, the way he was in his life, I always remember him, and hopefully I can celebrate him. My kids can, you know, be as respectful as Francisco was, you know, because he was a great kid. The only who can have mucha madera, mucha madera. He looks at him We miss him a lot, and that's my little story about. Francisco, who I'm uh, missing still, and every day we think about him and pray for him. And I know what I go through, or what anybody else goes through, is nothing compared to what the family's going through. So if we could all just show a hand of applause to them, and just in respect for Paco. Thank you and thanks for not blowing me off. <laughs>